Greetings, friends. I am Dr. George W. Kirby, the founder and first principal of Mount Royal College. Today, as our Mount Royal family embarks on the celebration of the century, I find myself looking back to where it all began a hundred years ago. When my wife Emily Spencer Kirby and I moved west in 1903, we saw a need for all people, women, men, young and old from all walks of life, to have access to the opportunities education brings and in turn to strengthen their characters and become curious, active, and engaged citizens. After much work, Mount Royal was granted its charter on December the 16th, 1910. Our dream had come true. We welcomed our first students, 179 to be exact, in September of 1911, and from that day forward, our students were our highest priority. Our community was literally being built around us by industrious, entrepreneurial, passionate individuals, characteristics intrinsic to Calgary today. We were already known then as Cowtown. The Calgary Stampede started the next year in 1912. Ranching, agriculture, and the railway brought major growth and economic development for our city. Speculative oil development was on the rise. And beyond Calgary, the Wright brothers flew for the first time. Einstein published his theory of relativity and the Model T Ford was revolutionizing transportation. And at the same time at Mount Royal, we were revolutionizing education. You see, we always did things just a little bit differently. For example, athletics was an important part of student life for young men and women. Our campus was a haven for the arts and culture. And at a time when casual discrimination was a sad, sad fact in our society, Mount Royal welcomed a diverse student body. And we always felt like a family, even as our family grew. It was important to create a home away from home, especially for our young students away for the first time. Not only did we respond to the needs of our community, we stepped up to serve our king and our country when our nation needed us. More than 300 of our students fought in the Second World War, and sadly, some did not return. Our soldiers who did come home were victorious, but they were forever changed. But Mont Royal offered retraining and the hope for the future, and many of our students went on to build Alberta's oil and gas industry. Well, then there was the 60s. As with much of the world, it was a time of unrest and questioning. It was a time of change, even at Mount Royal, where we became a public institution under the Colleges Act in 1966. In the 1970s, Mount Royal moved from our crowded downtown home to the current Lincoln Park campus to an open learning concept. Students were empowered and this move created a sense of a new beginning for our community. In the 80s, there was major growth in student numbers and Mount Royal was all about serving our students in the community. The original Wickham House Student Center opened. Cooperative education began and many of our staff and students volunteered for the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics. The world was changing and we were coming of age. Though the 90s brought technology to our doorstep and it changed the way we do things forever. Well, we launched something called a website in 1996. In response to a growing global economy and a changing workforce, Mont Royal also created Canada's first applied degrees and began to offer international education. It was all about possibilities, possibilities for our students. Well, imagine how much the world has changed from my day why students weren't even allowed to use the campus telephone back in 1918. And today, social media is changing the world. And for Mount Royal, the biggest change of all came on September the 3rd, 2009. From this day forward, this fine institution will be known as Mount Royal University. And I'm so proud that Mount Royal is now a university, opening more doors for university level learning and blazing a new trail for undergraduate education. We now have more than 35,000 students in university level continuing education, international and conservatory programs, and more than 2,200 employees. In fact, it's hard to find anyone in Calgary or the region whose life hasn't been touched by Mount Royal. 
Mount Royal University is proud to bestow our first honorary degree on the Honourable Norman Kwong, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta. I attended Mount Royal for a year and it was to uh, catch up on my high school uh, credits and uh, so that I could attend university. That would be 1948-9. My grandfather was one of the early members of the Board of Governors of Mount Royal. And uh, then when I was in government, uh, we were involved in a considerable support uh, to try to reach uh, a level in which it could mature to be a university. Uh, my connection with Mount Royal is, um, uh, it's a huge connection really. It was kind of the, the first major career that I had when I worked as a, a registered nurse at the Alberta Children's Hospital. I had done all of my training here. And it's kind of funny because you know I was only like 18 years old getting started in all this and, and uh, um, the first unit we were going through is how to how to make a bed and you, you know as an 18 year old guy I'm not sure that I'd ever actually done that before. It is pleasing to see that the core values of Mount Royal have stood the test of time. Small class sizes where professors know their students by name. Faculty with a love for teaching, learning and for scholarship and an unrelenting focus on excellence in undergraduate education. All of these have stood the test of time. So here's to our past, here's to our present and here's to our future, to determination, to new ideas, and to creativity. It is still all about possibilities for our students. I am Mount Royal. 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 And so here's to each of you the heart, the strength, and the soul of Mount Royal. Thank you for making my and Emily's dream a reality. You have much to celebrate. I wish I could be there with you. <laughs>